Hello and welcome to this video series on Bottle. So Bottle is a Python micro web framework. If you want to create a website, but you don't want to use Django because you do not need that many features as Django provides, you can go with Bottle. Now, uh, it is very simple and fast and lightweight, and you can see it, you can either install it using pip install Bottle. I will show you how or you can just download their file and there's a single file, no dependencies other than Python standard library. So I'm gonna make a couple of projects along the way and uh, this is going to be maybe two or three videos tops. So we're going to start from the basics. Now I'm going to use uh, PyCharm as my IDE and in the terminal, I need to pip install bottle so you'll see how fast and simple and lightweight it is. It's just gonna take a couple of seconds. And that was it. You see, it's very, very simple. Okay, now that I've installed it, I need to import some of the things that I need. So I would say from bottle, I'm gonna import uh, run, and I'm gonna import run for running a server and the application, and also route, and I will talk about these two. So route specifies where the user is going to visit, like the pages of our website. And it's a decorator, so we use at route, and in parentheses, we specify the route the user is gonna take. So they might go to about page, for example. They might go to, I don't know, contact page, or they might just visit the home page, just a slash forward slash and this decorator should be right above the function that is gonna um, be connected to so I'm gonna create a function define a function let's just call it home just for home page for instance it's not gonna take any arguments and it's going to return something it's going to return let's say an h1 tag and I'm gonna close it off here which says welcome to the home page and that would be it so this function is going to return this so whenever someone goes to our website dot com for example that is the home page this is what they will see this h1 tag but not so fast we need to run a server so down below let's go further down i'm going to call this run function that we just um, imported and inside we can give it like several arguments. Uh, you don't need to, but this is great if you do, for example, just set the debug to true, then if there is an error, uh, it will give you much more detailed errors, messages. And another thing which I really would like to use is reloader. And I'm gonna set that to true as well. And what reloader does, when you make some changes to the source code, you create something, some other functions. In order for those changes to apply and you see the, the results, you wouldn't need to stop the server and run it again all the time. You just need to save your code, like by Control S for instance, and it will load it again itself because it's now set to true. So you just need to refresh your um, web page. Okay, now that we have this, everything is in place, we are going to run this and now you see it is created the server and this is the local host 8080 is the port so I can either click on it or just uh, for example copy it or write it down somewhere so for example let's say here and you can see welcome to the home page that is what happens so again you create a decorator a route which says where it should go and a function which is bound to that route. So whenever someone goes to this uh, address, then this is what is returned. That's the basic thing that you should know. You can also create another file, for example, let's say, let's say about me is equal to, and I'm going to use three columns just to keep formatting. And I'm going to have an H1 which says about me and then something like I need to close it off here. So that's H1, right? And then 
an unordered list, so a UL. And this unordered list, let me close it off here. And inside that URL, let's have some list items, that is LI. And let's close it off here. And let's just have like maybe two more. So I'm just going to copy two more. So here, let's say I'm a teacher, which I actually am. Then let's say a programmer. And the last one, let's say a YouTuber. So now I'm going to um, to create another route which people can take to go to about page and that is going to be connected to a function that I'm going to make and that function is going to be called to about and that is going to return the about me uh, variable that we just created which is basically just a bunch of HTML code right so that is what is going to return. I'm going to save it, Control S, I did. And I go back and here, I just need to say about. And you see, about me, teacher, programmer, and YouTuber. So it's as simple as that. So this is what the route does, this forward slash. Okay, but it is not very practical to uh, use HTML here, obviously. So that is why we are not going to do this in real world. We are going to use templates and templates are just kind of like HTML where you can have your information there. I'm gonna show you an example. So let's say we are going to also import template as well. And down below here, let's create another route and this route is going to lead to, let's say, products page. And so when someone goes to the products, um, our website forward slash products, and then they should um, see what this function returns. And I'm gonna call the function like the same name. I don't need any uh, arguments for that. And it's going to return something. But what is gonna return? I'm gonna return a page, like an HTML page. So for that, I'm going to use the template function that I just imported here. And it can take several arguments. So the first one is the name of the template. So we don't have it yet. So this is something like an HTML page. It's not HTML, but I will say what I mean. So it's going to return this template products. We don't have it yet. So if I go back to the website here, and instead of about, if I say products, you see I get this error, template products not found. So where should I create this to be found? Well, uh, when you create a template and you give it a name, Bottle looks inside this directory and says, okay, is there a views file? So by default, it looks for a views folder. And inside the views folder, I can put my uh, templates. So now I need to create a products template. So I would say products. And the extension is not HTML, but TPL for template. This is the extension that Bottle uses for its templates. Now you can see the PyCharm does not recognize this. So I, what I can do is to override file type and say, okay, I want it to be recognized as HTML, but still it is TPL. So I'm double clicking on it. And now here I can um, like have a, an exclamation mark and press tab and I have an HTML boilerplate, awesome. So here I can put like an H1 saying products page and down below I can have I don't know, several other things like uh, P and the lorem of 10 words, 10 random words. I'm gonna save this. I did and I go back and if I refresh, you see products page and this. So cool. So what I can do, I can also have um, like style, although I would not, I do not recommend you doing it here. This is not the best way to do that, but just for the, okay, let's see. Yeah, maybe this color. Just for the sake of example, I'm gonna do it and you will see that this can happen as well. You see the color has changed. 
although this is not the best way to do it and I will tell you how you can do this. Okay, so now that I have this, what is, what is the point in having TPL and not HTML? So when you have a template, you can also process Python expressions and the way that is done here uh, by uh, in, in bottle uh, template engine uh, it uses a simple template engine so we need to have double curly brackets and whatever you put inside double curly brackets would be evaluated as python code let's say or expressions so for example if i say something like five times um, i don't know 200 and five times 200 and then I have, let's say, the same code, but in only one curly braces, let's just put it above the products page. So I have these two expressions here and here. Let's see their difference. And let's just have one without, without them, like that. So let's see what happens if I save the code and go back and refresh it. You see now here I have five by 200, five by 200, but here I have 1,000. So what happened here, because I used double curly braces, it counted this as Python expression. So it calculated this, did the calculations. Whereas for these, it, they were just simple like text or characters. So we can, this is very powerful. So we can do a lot of calculations here. So for example, let's say we have a for loop and I'm gonna show you how to make a for loop here. So in, in templates, in uh, bottle, you create your uh, for loops or if statements using the percentage sign. So you have the percent sign and you say for, for example, I in range, uh, I don't know, eight, for example, if you know Python, you will know what I mean. So you're going to go over and uh, like eight numbers from zero up to and including seven. And let's say I want to create a P tag saying something like number and what is the number going to be the number is going to be i so i would be well, zero first and then i would be one and it's going to print it and i have to end this for loop somewhere to say this is the end of it and i do it like that now i'm saving it and i'm going back again and refreshing and you can see i have number zero up to uh, seven you can see so this is the power of this template. It's amazing. Now, what, what is also interesting is that you can, you can import, let's say values or variables from here, from the outside. That is, I can say, for instance, let's say I have a data, uh, let's call it maybe items. I have items and the items is going to be a list. And the list is going to be uh, some dictionaries. For example, name is going to be John and age is going to be uh, 45, for example. And job is going to be a uh, teacher. So I have this one. Let's have just two more and you will see how amazing this is what we've just learned oops okay now let's just change the names so mary and rob here we have 38 here we have 32 this one is a uh, doctor and this one is a nurse okay so we have these items right let's just call it I don't know, people it's better than items, people. So we have these people with this information. So I can, I can make uh, these this uh, these pieces of information available in my template in, in products, which is actually wrongly named products. Maybe I can call it something else, like I don't know, inf info or whatever else. So, anyways, I can. Uh, say that now this template, this product, can have access to these people. I can say, uh, for instance, I don't know, info or lists or whatever lists is equal to people. So I'm just giving it a different name so that you know it doesn't need to be the same, which is which. So now inside my products template here, 
I can have access to lists and lists would be basically people. So now I'm gonna change it to people so that you know that which is which. Okay, now inside this template, I have access to people. I can go back to products and here, instead of for I in range, I can say for I in people, that is, for example, this would be zero I, the first round, the second round, this would be I, and the third round, this would be I. And I'm gonna get the name and age and job. So I can say that for I in people, I uh, get the I um, and the index name, for example. So what it does, it's going to, uh, let's say person instead of number. Let's see what it does now. So it's going through people list because now it has access to it and it's going to go through each of them and print the name of them. Now I'm going back and, and uh, refresh this and you can see person, John, Mary, and Rob. This is so cool. And I can do the same thing with, um, with the age and also with age and also job. So you can see what I mean. Now I just change this and refresh and you can see person John at uh, 45 teacher. Well, it doesn't make sense to actually um, arrange it like that, but I'm going to make a table now to make it better. So I'm going to create a table. Let's just get rid of this for now. And I'm going to create a table, table in HTML. And let's set a border for it. Border is going to be maybe two pixels. And now inside that, let's have uh, a table row. And inside the first row, I'm going to have some table headings. And let's say name for the first one. For the second one is going to be maybe age. And for the last one, table heading it would be like job so that's the first row and now the second row third run others they are going to be like this a table row which is going to be a TD table data now it's not a heading anymore and in the first one actually we need to have now three corresponding these three so I want to create several rows and that's why I am going to do this for loop I'm going to show you what it means because if you see the results, it makes much more sense. Now I'm going to put it like here. Okay, so I'm creating a for loop that goes through people and for each person, it creates a row. And inside that row, there are cells and I want to populate these cells with the names of those people, ages and, and jobs. So I'm going to say, okay, now I'm going to have double curly brackets. The first one is going to be I, and it's going to be the name of that person, right? And let's have like two more of these here, but not for names, this one for age and this one for job. Okay, I'm gonna save this, Control S, and go back and refresh and let's see what happens. Look at this, isn't it cool? So we, we just got this from a sort of database, it's not a database, but from the outside uh, files. So this is what it does. Now, this is just the basics that we are getting through. So we just learned how to um, use routing. That's the first thing, install it, download it, use routing using run, and also how to uh, use templates uh, to get things done in this way. And then I will show you in next videos how to use uh, static files that is images where you, you which you have saved and you have on your directory here um, and also we'll make several projects so that was the first video in less than 20 minutes I hope you liked it please don't forget to share and like or subscribe thank you very much for watching and listening